The Ilex Phileas, being one of the strongest skins in Dinosaur Simulator, it can pretty much destroy most of the smaller tier things that'll come up to it and try to attack it. But what if, just what if, something as big as it came to challenge it? Branded Parasaurus. Now, seeing as it may be a crocodile, you'd be thinking, oh, well, you know, a crocodile can't beat a sauropod skin. There's just no way, until you look at the stat difference. So from comparing Chimerasaur's health to Pyrrhosaur's health, you would assume the Violex Phileas skin with a sauropod base would have more health, right? Well, that's where you're wrong. So here, if we compare the healths, it has 2,770 health, 120 damage, 30 armor, 12 speed, 1.4 attack cooldown, 0 bleed, and 100 stamina. So you'd think... Brandapurosaurus would be beaten stats and wouldn't have a chance at all until you look at its stats. Now for Brandapurosaurus, we have 130 damage, 3125 health, beating it by 400, almost 400 health, 40 armor, 13 speed, 2.2 attack rate, 1 bleed, and 100 stamina. So what would happen if these two kaiju level classes met and fought right in the ring together? Who would come out on top? Let's find out. But before we get to the main event, we gotta do the smaller stuff, you know? So let's get into those fights. So first off, we got the normal Mega. Obviously, you know, we got to do the hybrids first, so we're just going to do a range test and see who can hit each other from the closest. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so Mega does have longer range, but it's just barely. But Mega does have longer range. As you can see, he can hit me and I cannot hit him. All right, so now we're going to do a PvP to yellow just to see which one is better between Megavore and Brandaprosaurus. But I can kind of already see which one's going to win here just due to the differences in health. Three, two, one, go. So even if he does manage to get the first hit on me, which he missed there, I can just completely face tank him. Even if I have a smaller attack cooldown, the difference in health is just way too much. But if you can manage to somehow get a little bit more bites before it starts face tanking you, you could definitely win. So as you can see, it does get to yellow and I don't bleed it. So that's a very good plus for Megavore because bleed would be a huge factor. All right, so we're gonna try one more time. This time him just using a little bit more range instead of completely face taking me because that's not the best option here. But I established the hitbox ranges. Okay. We are both hitting each other now. Going blow for blow. I got one more. Oh yeah, this is not good for him. Once again, the range for Megavore isn't too much, you know, farther than branded so if people mess up even once you're screwed so if you mess up a lot like he's doing right here yeah you can consider yourself a dead megavore yeah and there we go he's yellow so branded completely destroys megavore as of now you can see the health difference it just gives it too far of an advantage against mega maybe if it was closer then it would be a little bit better but all right, so next we're going to be doing Brandaparasaurus versus Megalodon. So this is a very interesting fight as they're very close in health, but the damage may be a little bit far. So let's do a range test first, just to see, you know, who, who can hit each other from farther. So we're going to go face to face. Okay, so he can hit me from there. Ooh, very, very interesting range. Okay, you know what? That's not too bad for, for Brandaparasaurus, unless... He pulls out and can actually hit me from a, a super far area, so I can't hit him here. Okay, it's actually closer than I expected. Yeah, so it looks to be pretty much equal. If not, Meg may just be a l Yeah, it is a little bit bigger, but... Once again, in water, it's a lot harder to land better range than you guys may think. So, we'll see how we can use that range against me and we'll see who wins this fight all right and the pvp begins now i don't know how much i forget how much damage he does but oh hold on let me cook you gotta you gotta side box in these types of situations you gotta just and ensure that you get more hits than he does so honestly this fight could go either way to be honest if the meg is pushing you who knows because damage may take it all oh hold on I'm kind of cooking right now. Ooh, God, he's, he's starting to face tank a little bit. Who wins in the face tank situation? Oh, sh okay, I, all I can do is face tank, and it looks like Brandaparasaurus wins. Once again, it can go both ways if the Karch Meg 
starts ranging you more than the Peru ranges it. But honestly, that was really close. So next, we're going to be doing Albino Terror versus Brandon Parasaurus because we already did Megavore. Why not just do Albino Terror? So we're going to range test first, see which one comes out on top. Ooh, okay. So Albino does outrange it. Okay, so he can hit me from here, which is about 30 meters. Oh, yeah, 30 meters. Oh, snap. Oh, wait, that isn't bad, actually. And I do bleed Albino Terror. So I can hit him from about 30 meters as well. But Albino Terror, it does have a little bit a little bit of the edge against Brandoparasaurus. So, all right, so now we're going to be PvPing. Now, Albino Terror does have a lot less health, and I can bleed him. So if he messes up even a few times, he is completely screwed. I just got to bait him out. Now, Brandon is very slow. So keep in mind, even if you guys do win these fights, people could just run away. Oh, he is he is messing up. Oh no, he's getting he's getting some some decent hits on me right now. I just gotta catch him when he goes in. Now he should be getting pretty close to yellow, I imagine. Yeah, that should bleed him to yellow, if not get him close. I think he's gonna bleed to yellow off of that. But albino terror does do pretty good if you if you constantly range it. It can bring it around this health if you miss some of your blows and let them hit you. But obviously, it's going to come out on top because of the health difference. It's just too much. So as of now, Brandoparasaurus beats both hybrids. Alright, so now we're going to be trying Skilla because its damage per second is insane. And if it can somehow range me, then I think it could do a lot of damage. Oh, nah. I think Brandon might outrange Julio. Oh, wait, wait, what, what was that then? How did, I hit him before, but oh, there it is. Yeah. So Giglio, it's not looking, it's not looking too sharp, but maybe, just maybe, if he can bait out some attack, maybe he can come out on top. Oh, wait, nope. We're having a, a slight change of events. Branded is getting outranged by Giglio. This is very confusing. I ranged him and then he ranged me. I'm so confused right now. All right, so we're going to try PvP now. Once again, Skilla's or Gilio's damage per second with its click attack and its speed is insane. So if he can somehow use that to his ability, which it doesn't look too sharp here. Yeah. If I, if I can trade hits with him every time, this is not going to end out well for him. Especially since I bleed him and he does not do the same. Yeah, Gilio just does not stand a chance. But we're gonna try Classic Skilla, and maybe we can see if it does the same. All right, so now, just for the hell of it, we're gonna try Classic Skilla, because I think its range might be better than Gilio. So we'll have to see. Ooh, okay. So he does have a slight, just barely, bit of range against me. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, so it's like maybe a meter if that of range against the brandoparasaurus so that's that may be good for him if he can utilize it if not then it's gonna spell a downfall all right so we're gonna try to pvp once again once again if he messes up even once he's pretty much done for because he can get bled by me not the opposite which he has messed up twice already so this may be a maybe another brandoparasaurus win yeah <laughs> Uh, this ain't, this ain't looking too good for Skilla. <laughs> Honestly, the the only things that can stand a chance against, Br against Brandon may be like small sauropods or like big aquatics. That's how it's looking like right now. It's beaten all three hybrids, so it's not looking too good. Alright, so now we're going to test what a lot of people might want to see. Excavator, because it did get a huge buff recently, so we're going to see what comes out on top between the two. Also, they're pretty close in health, so this fight may be closer than a lot of- Oh my god. Oh, nah. Okay, but I do not bleed it. That is huge. This this might be pretty close. This honestly might be very close for Brandoparasaurus. Excavator can range it from a pretty far amount, and it does not get bled by Brandoparasaurus, so. This is going to be a lot closer than I thought it would. Okay. Oh, he's messing up. 
Oh, he's going for the face tank route. All right, let's do, let's do it. I don't know how how much damage Excavator does, but this is the only thing I do. I can't run away. I don't have enough speed for that. But I'm I'm coming out on top here, 100. percent Once again, this can go either way because it did like it did look like Excavator had more damage before or uh range. I mean, but I don't know. Maybe he just messed up, or maybe sideboxing is just the way to confuse people or something. Who knows, man. But Brandoparasaurus, once again, comes out on top. It's been doing very well so far, so on to the next fight we go. Alright, so next up we have yet another water fight against Pleosaurus. As you guys know, it's carried by its damage and I think DPS, which it has a pretty good one. But we're gonna test out the range first as always. Ooh. Once again, not a hu- and I do bleed Pleosaurus as well. This is very interesting. I'm very intrigued to see how this fight will go down. All right, and the fight begins. Once again, even if it ranges me, side boxes change everything because people slip up, people mess up, whatever, you know. Even if he tries to face tank me here, he is not winning. And it looks like he missed the attack as well. Ooh, hold on. He is, he's trying to scope me out and make sure I miss my attack, which is what you're supposed to do in side boxes. So good on him. Ooh, okay. Keep, keep that range up, boy. Nah, you messed it up. You messed it up. Aw, oh, nah. You messed up when you decided to face tank a Brandon, man. That health difference is just too OP. Look, and the bleed is getting to you as well. There's just no shot. No shot. But, alright, so I know we just tested the normal Megavore. But, now we're gonna try Apex Hothead. Because, apparently, with the stats it got for not having an aquatic swimming... It's supposedly super good, so we're gonna see how good it fares against Brandoparasaurus. Oh, okay. He's, he knows how to use that that back hitbox. I don't. I don't really know how to do that, so I'm a. I guess I'm losing here, honestly. There we go. Mess up. Mess up. Come on, mess up some more. I'm just so impatient with him. I don't. I don't know. He he times it very well. I gotta get better at my timing. I can I can tank some, but I just gotta get up close. So now I sh now I should be able to win, but we'll see. Oh, so he does get me to yellow first, but I think to the death Apex Hothead would lose. Maybe, just maybe. I don't know, but it is very close. If you're better at timing things, I think Brandon will come out on top though. All right, I'm going to try one more time and, and try to get my timing down a little bit better because I really feel like Brandon should win that. But maybe maybe I'm just imagining things. Yeah, like if I can actually. Oh, there we go. That's when I start messing up. But I, I am hitting him more than. Oh, OK. And I stand corrected. Oh, it's just that timing. There we go. No, you're not hitting me with that ass PVP or ass hitbox very close <clears throat> I don't know man it's very close oh, I don't know man oh my goodness it's just so weird I don't know the side boxing like timing it's, it's just weird man but I guess apex takes it I don't know it could be either way if it's to the death I think it could be either way but honestly yeah 50 50 I'd say Maybe, maybe 75, 25, but very close either way. Let's go to the next one. All right, and now for the main event. We have Branded Parasaurus versus Violex Filius, which I know a lot of people are going to get excited about because it's the two main apexes clashing. Everyone sees a Violex, they, they craft themselves. Same for Branded Parasaurus. So we're just going to go straight into the fight. Oh my God, look at that range. Okay. Oh, we both hit each other. I hit him and he didn't hit me. This is a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Oh, oh yeah. I'm, I'm getting some good hits in. Yeah, the health difference is just going to save me here. There's no shot. I think it's around 2000 health right now. I don't know how much it takes for him to get to yellow, but yeah, this is... It's not looking too hot for him. 
As you guys can see, even if it has more range, the sideboxing is what gets the people. Uh, I can't even see how much health he's at. But I think he should be nearing yellow. Yeah. 800 health above? I don't think it's fair. It's just, Brandon has too much health, man. That's pretty much the main event. We might do Giraffe Titan, though. That would be a pretty good fight, honestly. Just for the hell of it, I kind of want to see Kaiju Giraffe Titan, how it fares. Apparently, if you face tank as Branded, you'll win. But, oh! So it looks like it's about even, honestly. Damn. Oh? That is so weird. Like, sometimes it'll hit, and sometimes it won't. But I think I get the gist now. I just gotta face tank him, because I think I might have a lower attack rate. But we'll see how it goes. Oh my god. I can't even hit him! Apparently you're supposed to face tank him, but I don't know if I can. This is, this is pretty bad on me. Come on. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing, come on! It's so close! It is so freaking close. Who's gonna get to yellow first? Come on! Come on! Oh, it's a tie! Oh my god, okay, he did hit me first though, so technically... Technically, if you if you miss the first hit or two he got on me, Breda Parasaurus will come out on top. But if you get ranged by it and then start face tanking it, you probably will lose. So that is very close. I did not expect that it would be that close, honestly, with an actual sauropod. So just for the hell of it, we're gonna try another round with Branda versus Violex, this time me using the Violex, because I just want to see how close it actually is. <gasps> okay. Bait it out, just bait it out. I can't run out of surface room. Once I run out of surface room, he will face tank me. But it does look like Violex is winning here. Oh, snap! Come on, don't give up. Don't give up the edge you have. No. Oh, I'm messing up. I'm messing up. I see what he means. It could really go either way. <sighs> yeah, I'm messing up here. Okay, I gotta stop going first. That's what he's. That's how he's getting me. And now it's his face tank and I lose here. Damn. So yeah, it really does kind of like depend on who you're fighting. Because if they mess up, then you'll obviously win. But it's there's a lot of room for mistakes in PvP. As you can see there. If you go first and miss with the side box, you're going to lose. But if you can keep ranging them, then you will win. But that's a pretty much the case for anything. But those were all the fights I had planned for this video. Brandaparasaurus itself is pretty much like a, a freaking sauropod at this point. But it can go either way, honestly. If the branded is bad at PvP, which in this case he wasn't, then it could 100% win. Or the Violex can win, I mean. But very close, very close fights. A lot closer than I thought it was going to be. And uh, yeah, that wraps up the video. You guys know which one is better to use now. Obviously, if you have Violex Philly, it isn't a bad choice. But Brandon just comes out on top. It's literally like a, a sauropod with, in a croc form. It is insane. But that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next video. Peace.